Summer's here, and every year the sizzling onset of bikini season helps fuel a well-oiled multi-million dollar business, catering to our insecurities. One woman near the top of the celebrity fitness food chain is Tracy Anderson, actress Gwyneth Paltrow's exercise guru and business partner. But Anderson's workouts aren't cheap, and some wonder if they put too much pressure on women, especially new moms, to get fit at any cost. Here's ABC's Paula Ferris. She is the reigning queen of fitness, the secret weapon behind some of Hollywood's hottest bodies, from Molly Sims oh, it's great. to Stacey Keebler, Tracy, Stacey. of course her friend and business partner Gwyneth Paltrow. I started with her after my son and she was just amazing, like she really transformed my body and I thought, you know, all women should have access to this. The Tracy Anderson method is now a fitness empire, which encompasses studios, DVDs, and now her own line of food. It's an intense dance-based cardio workout that Anderson believes can transform the way you look, no matter what body type you were born with. Even if every woman in your family has had big hips or a fat tummy for the last 17 generations, you don't have to. This is a real, you know, method that can take people the distance and, and I've proven it, you know, thousands of times over. The Tracy Anderson method is designed to give women a tight, ultra toned body. But some critics argue that high standard is unattainable for many women. The fact is when you're surrounded by that kind of imagery, it actually does affect how we feel about our body image. We can't meet it. So I think women actually feel like they fall short. They feel like they haven't done it the right way or enough. And that's problematic. Don't you think you're partly responsible for creating that standard that we have to look a certain way? I hate that, actually. That is hard for me because, unfortunately, I did get pinned with a lot of teeny tiny, teeny tiny. And just because I've developed something that can create a strong body that's got the skin, you know, tight to the muscle, that, that creates balance and gets rid of problem areas, doesn't mean that I think that every woman needs to be teeny tiny. Some parts of the workout might look odd with trampolines and what she calls crazy free arms, but Anderson promises results. Why does your method work and how? I use the brain's connection to the body and people's weaknesses through the content to be able to create a balanced, strong structure. But those results don't come cheap. If you want a membership at one of her studios, it's going to run you $900 a month. So expensive. How are you still able to relate to those that aren't celebs and, and might not have that disposable income? You know, I didn't spend over a decade creating this just for celebrities, but it's expensive to have gyms like this. It's very expensive and to do it right. But if you really take the $900 a month against my philosophy of that you need to work out six days a week, it's under $35 a class. It's prices like these that have turned Tracy Anderson's method into a hugely successful business. With so much at stake, Anderson is wary of what she calls copycats. There have been some really troubling circumstances, you know, along the way for sure. But people always tell me, like, when you do something really great, you're going to get ripped off. Anderson herself recently had her second baby, and mothers are a big part of her client base. I'm really excited that you're going to let me help you get your body back. In fact, during her pregnancy, she created the Pregnancy Project. When you're a first-time mom, you can't become informed enough. A set of workout DVDs for all nine months. What do you think, Penny? Let's get started on our workout, huh? And once you have your bundle of joy, Tracy will be there to get you back in shape. But for a lot of regular moms, looking like this postpartum isn't realistic. It's not the real world. And to aspire to be those unreal models is to only set yourself up to feel bad about yourself. Is it fair to expect women who have recently had a baby to get into shape so quickly, though? No, no. As soon as your doctor releases you to work out, you have to start reconnecting to your body. You know what it's like to start working out again after being pregnant. It's the worst thing ever. And even some of her celebrity clients can't live up to the standard. New mom Kim Kardashian trained with Anderson during her pregnancy, but was still skewered in the tabloids for gaining weight. I feel badly for her because anybody who has to 
do that under the pressure of being photographed all the time. And sometimes when you're pregnant, it's like the last thing you want to do. That criticism didn't stop Kardashian from walking the red carpet in Los Angeles at the grand opening of Tracy Anderson's fourth studio. Yeah, thank you. And event co-owner Gwyneth Paltrow was on hand for it as well. It's hard to believe, but after having her two children, Paltrow claimed she was out of shape and that Tracy told her so. She gets you <laughs> naked and then she criticizes every little part of you. The first time you met her, you pulled off her pants and said her butt was long and lifeless. I had to listen to that story over and over again where she was like, she pulled down my pants and she said, oh, you hide this so well in clothes. This is terrible. Your butt's so long. And like at that point, I had touched and changed so many butts. Like it just is like <laughs> standard practice. But could the Gwyneth special so, work for me? So I need the Gwyneth treatment, right? OK, first of all, I would have to see where you're genetically weak. Being a burger loving, child bearing woman in my late 30s, something possessed me. Not sure what that was to take one of Tracy's classes back in New York. I have large ribs, yeah. These aren't your ribs, baby. What this is those? your muscles. This is your rectus oh, abdominis. Those are my muscles. This is your muscles, and, and, and you've actually built it out. And what about my backside? Okay, so how do you describe my butt? I would say that you're glute centric only if you're, you know, going off of my metamorphosis product, only because it's longer than it needs to be. It's like hanging down more than it needs to. Hearing I have a long glute, uh, that was motivation enough to get busy in her two hour master class. My leg is so heavy. And eventually quitting halfway through. I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk tomorrow. <laughs> While her devotees continued on, unfazed for another hour. I cannot feel my body from the waist down. I now know there is a method to Tracy's madness. I can't hang. I'm waving the white towel. For Nightline, I'm Paula Ferris in New York.